Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to install in fall theme, create a child theme and import a demo. Let's open our browser. So basically this is the website where we are installing the in fall theme. As you can see this is a default theme. Now let's open the browser and the theme we are going to install is Enfold as we mentioned earlier. So for those who do not have Enfold theme, please purchase it from themeforest.net. I have already made the purchases. You can check the live previews and their demos as well. So let me just download the theme. Click on Downloads. And here's an Enfold theme. Click on Download and install WordPress file only. I do not need to download all the files and documentations. Okay, the theme has been downloaded. So in folder, so this is the theme. I'll just put it in the desktop. So this is in full theme. So there are two ways of installing a theme. Either you can go to your WordPress dashboard, I'll close this all, wp-admin, your username and password, go to appearance, themes, add new themes, and upload themes, choose a file, choose your theme, open and install now. So after the installation is complete, the theme will appear in this space and you can simply activate it. The other method is via cPanel which we are going to use. So for that, log into your cPanel, enter your username and password, go to file manager and where your website is. So this is your whole website. Go to wp-content, go to themes, and here you can upload your themes. Click on upload, select file, select theme forest, and fold open. As the file is being uploaded, if I check inside the theme folder, there is a child theme for 2020 which we do not need actually, we only need a child theme for Enfold, which we are going to create one. So I'll simply delete it. Also if I look at the dashboard, I can see child 2020 theme. I have already deleted it, so simply refreshing it should go. The active theme is broken, so the default theme 2020. So I'll just activate this. So the site will look the same. Let me check how much the file has been uploaded. Please note, you may also choose to keep the child theme if it has been used by other theme and has all the functions and codes over there. You don't want to delete it. For me, I don't need it. So that's why I deleted the child theme. Okay, the file has been uploaded. Let's go back. And this is the file. Right click on it and extract. Extract files, close and reload. I can delete this. So here is in full theme. Now if I go to my dashboard, go to appearance and themes, I will see in full theme. So I can activate it. And if I view the website, I can see the default in full theme. Anyway, now let's create a child theme for Enfold. So I have the child theme over here, which has three files function.php, screenshot, and style.css. You can create your own screenshot. This basically represents um, this image. I have used my customized one and this function.php you can add your own functions later and this is style.css 
where you can add your own CSS codes. So this was used for 2020. So let's use it for Enfold. So let's call it Child Enfold or give any name you want. Description Child Theme of Enfold. As I mentioned, the template name is very, very important. So I like to copy it. Please note, even the caps locks is very important. So I'll just paste it. And as you can see, the CSS path. So I'll just replace this with Enfold. So now we're done. Just save it. Jib this. And upload it. Go back and extract the files. Close, reload. Here's the child theme. You can delete this and rename this to child and fold so that it's not confusing for us. Now let's go to our dashboard and refresh it. Then I can see child and fold with the image of screenshot I kept. I will also show you an example. Like if I go to a child theme and open style.css. So for instance, if I replace the name by caps E and save it and then refresh this. If you notice the child theme is broken, you can see the parent theme is missing. Please install Enfold parent theme. So that's why it's very important for us to have the exact same name of your theme. So I'll just change this back to Enfold. Now if I refresh this, it's working fine. So let's activate it. So this is the Enfold theme. So if you want to change this name, you can simply go to theme editor and change this name. You can write anything you want, like enfold my theme and update it. And if I refresh this, I will see this name over here. Please don't do this in your live website because if you do it, then all your settings will be gone. You will have to import and export the theme settings to restore it back. Anyway, now let's import a demo website. We can simply click on demo import and choose the demo you want to import. So there are lots of demos in full offers. As you can see, some demos require some plugins. For instance, this requires WooCommerce, BBPress. This requires WooCommerce, BBPress. This does not require any plugins. This does not require any plugin. So whichever demo you are trying to import, please also install the plugin required. Most of the plugins require WooCommerce. This requires even Calendar or even Calendar Pro. Some of them are paid plugins as well. So let me import a demo website. Uh, let's work with this website and click on click to import. Okay. Importing the demo might take some time. You just have to be a little patient. Please don't reload the page. You will be notified as soon as the import has finished. The demo has been imported. Let's check the website. If you have any issue while importing the demo, Please check the website anyway, even if it displays any error. You may retry the process if the website has not been imported correctly. Thank you very much.